So octal to hexadecimal conversion is just a two step process and in this video we are going to learn that. So without wasting time, let's get started. So here we have this octal number and we are going to convert this octal number into hexadecimal number. And to achieve this we are going to use this octal to hexadecimal conversion table. This table is really important in order to convert octal to hexadecimal. So as a first step we are going to write this number and then we are going to convert this octal number into binary number. So how we will do that? We will find the binary equivalent to this 5 octal and that we will get from this table. So first the binary equivalent to this 5 is here 101 is the binary equivalent to octal 5. So we are going to write over here 101. Now the next number is 6. The binary equivalent to 6 is 110. So we will write 110 over here. The next number is 3. So 3 is over here. Binary equivalent to 3 is 11. But we are not going to write 11 over here. Instead of 11 we are going to write a 011. Why we are doing this? Now I am giving the answer. And remember this. This is true for always. Whenever we represent any single digit octal number into binary will represent always it in three digit manner because the largest octal number is seven and that could be represented using three digit binary so in order to maintain the symmetry we will always represent all the binary equivalent to octal in three digit manner and that is why if you want to convert this one one into three digit manner we supposed to add one zero over here so zero one one is the three digit binary equivalent to octal number three. Now it's time for next number that is seven and the equivalent number to seven is one one one. So now here we have converted this octal number into binary and we are going to write that combined binary number. So here it is one 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 zero one 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 zero and one zero one. Now forget everything and just remember that we have this binary number and now we want to convert this binary number into hexadecimal. So what are we supposed to do? In order to do that, you first need to remember this. The largest hexadecimal number is F and that could be represented using four digit binary number. And that is why all the binary equivalent to hexadecimal will be represented in four digit manner. So for that purpose, now here we'll start creating a club of four binary digits and then convert it back to hexadecimal. So we'll start from this side and create a club of four digits. So here it is the first set of four digits. It is 0101. So ultimately when here it is 0, you can consider it as 101. So 101 is 5. So 0101's hexadecimal equivalent is 5. Now we'll go for the next set of four digits. It is 1111. And here it is 1111. So hexadecimal equivalent to this number is F. So we are going to write F. And then finally the set of four digit is 1110. So 1110 is E. So we are going to write over here E. So now we will combine these numbers together and we will get EFI as the hexadecimal equivalent to this 7365 octal number. So here you need to remember that octal to hexadecimal conversion is just a two step process. First convert octal number into binary number and then convert this binary number into hexadecimal number. Now here on your screen you can find several octal numbers which you need to convert into hexadecimal. So now let's see how quickly you can solve this and write the answer in comments below. And yes if you want to discuss anything with me then you can join my telegram page where we are used to discuss so many things about digital electronics and different stuffs. So now let's move ahead. The next conversion is hexadecimal to octal conversion. And here our hexadecimal number which we are going to convert into octal number. And to achieve this we are going to use this octal to hexadecimal conversion table. So first of all we are going to write our hexadecimal number in this manner and then we will start with this A. So first we will convert this A into a binary number. So what is binary equivalent to A? That is 1010. So we are going to write over here 1010. The next number is F and what is binary equivalent to F? That is 1111. So we are going to write it over here. And the next number is 2. So what is the binary equivalent to 2? It is 10. 
but we are not going to write 10 over here instead of 10 we'll write 0010 now can any of you tell me what is the reason behind adding two zeros over here if you remember then write in comments below and if you don't remember just rewind the video and watch that section now we are going to combine this number so it is 00101111101010 and now this is a complete binary number and we are going to convert this number into octal number so now in order to convert binary into octal you supposed to remember this that the largest single digit octal number is 7 and that could be represented using three digit binary number so all single digit octal number will be represented using three digit binary number so here from this side we will start and create a set of three digit binary number so our first set of three digit is 010 so ultimately it is 10 so 10 is 2 so we are going to write 2 over here then the next set of three digit is 111 so 111 is ultimately 7 so we are going to write 7 over here then the next set is 011 so ultimately it is 11 so 11's equivalent is 3 so we are going to write 3 over here and then the next set is 011 so ultimately 011 is 1 so we are going to write 1 over here so now let's combine all these things together and we'll get 1372 as octal equivalent to this 2 fa hexadecimal number now the same way it is also interesting to learn how to convert a fractional octal number into hexadecimal and then fractional hexadecimal number to octal number and to learn that thing i request you to watch the next video into this playlist if you wish to explore digital electronics more with animated videos then you can refer these two playlist see you into the next video